Crews are still cleaning up the wreckage after more than a dozen train cars went off the tracks in the Northwest Metro this morning. This aerial footage shows just how bad the derailment is. BNSF says 15 cars went off the rails, but the crash doesn't present a danger to people in the area. WCCO's Adam Duxter is in Big Lake and shares how it's captivated the town today. Well, it was an early morning wake up call for anyone living near the tracks here in Big Lake. And as crews clean up and start to investigate what exactly happened, people living here in town say they just had to get a glimpse of the destruction. The scene from the sky, truly remarkable to take in. Unreal, incredible. But people like Lynn Allen settling just to get close, trying to catch a glimpse. We're just um, coming to see the carnage right now and then we're going to go home. The BNSF runs this stretch of rail and says no one was hurt in this early morning crash, but the cause is still under investigation. They say inside these cars with labels like JB Hunt and FedEx consumer goods. But the true shock. Absolutely just horrendous metal crunching. The size and scope of the wreckage. It was about 315 in the morning and I just thought my air conditioning was going out of control. <laughs> he woke up. He was laying next to me and woke up and said, what was that? It sounded like <laughs> <laughs> to me it did, which will now slow things down in this busy corridor while crews work to take debris away. We have a lot of train traffic through here, so having it down is probably going to cause a lot of issues. And this is really going to mess things up. For everybody in Big Lake, Adam Duxter, WCCO News. This morning's crash will also disrupt North Star services for fans looking to get to tonight's Twins game.